Hey everyone, it's Jake with Jet Collectibles, and today I have another Pokemon Brilliant Stars booster box opening. So I was able to pick up a case from my local car shop today, and I'm opening each of those boxes, and this is box number three. So far, I've had some pretty good boxes to start off, one and two. I'm uh, able to pull a Charizard V-Star. Box number two. I'm still looking for that alternate art and the Rainbow Red Beast on the Charizard. So, we're going to see what we can pull out of this. Maybe uh, maybe that. Maybe that full art Marnie also. And you know, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe. Leave a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Start off with a Lucario Hollow first pack. Full art, and it is a Kindler full art trainer. It's not quite the morning we'd hope, but hey, we'll take a full art trainer there. Not to uh, complain about that. Or Madame. Tornadus. Some pretty crazy art on that Tornadus. Palucha and a Moltres. Got well, it's character rares, and it is an Umbreon V. I like that one, that was a nice, get some pretty rough uh, top to bottom centering. Look at that, a lot of space, and a little bit tiny space down there. But that is a nice looking card, and uh, Drumpa V. So, only complaint some of these uh, first few boxes had some really bad centering. It's like, come on, guys. What's the deal? You like drastically off center stuff. Not just a little bit, but way off center. Stormy, Lifebird. It's really cool art work on the Mewtwo there. Yeah, got an ultra rare. Looks like a Raichu V. All right, you can take that. Raichu. Muck. And a Garchomp Hollow. Dust more and a Wormadam regular rare. Hey, Jolteon character rare. That's a pretty cool one, too. I like that art. 
and an Inte V. Ultra rare. Last pack of the first half. Out of the way, going into the second half of box number three. Staraptor. I haven't seen like around four or so character. Like uh, you know, those rarities per box, so that's kind of what you're looking at. Full race on those. In the last box of mine I had five. <clears throat> I think the first box had four. There's an Al Creamy. Check out that one. And a hollow Empoleon. I like that they put them in the slots. Like for the amazing rares, we can get a hit along with that as well. It makes it fun. Lapras, and we've got a more Peco V ultra rare. All of our V's over here. Cot V, which rare. A lot of these here. Hold on. And Harangaroo. Check out that artwork of that Harangaroo. Like he's pretty chill there. Charizard V, there we go, nice. First Charizard V Ultra Rare. Let's take a look here, looks like, yeah, pretty off center left to right on this guy too, unfortunately. Pretty skinny there. But hey, I'll take it. Still a uh, nice V to hit. First Charizard V out of three boxes so far. to go. We finish with something else big here. Maybe a rainbow? Or just a hollow? Looks like maybe we have something here. We've got a V-Star and it's an Arceus V-Star. Nice. Definitely take that one. That one looks to be nicely centered. So see, why can't it just all be, you know, nicely centered? Nice hit there on the close with the Arceus V star. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hollows. Got a 
a full art trainer, Kindler. We've got our four partner rares there, Umbreon V, really nice. We've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six ultra rares. Charizard V being the best one there, and Arceus V Star being a nice hit there at the close. It's a pretty nice box there again. Uh, no gold or rainbow, but still that Arceus V Star uh, was a big hit there. And the Charizard also nice. So comment below, let me know what you think. Stay tuned for the next three boxes halfway through this case. So far, I've been pretty good. Hopefully, the next. Uh, three boxes can be just as good if not better if you have subscribed to the channel subscribe leave a thumbs up and hope you have a great day